Hi, it's Katrina from a demonic black tomcat who guards a national monument to a gigantic and not so cute and fluffy rabbit with fiery red eyes. Here are eight stories of animal ghost sightings. Number eight, the Tower of London ghost bear. Author Elliot O'Donnell was known to keep numerous accounts of ghastly sightings and supernatural phenomena on behalf of eyewitnesses prior to his death in 1965. Basically, he liked to write down people's creepy stories. One of those tales was about a creature with bear-like features that reportedly lurked around Martin Tower at the Tower of London in England, where the crown jewels were once stored. In the 1800s, the tower also had a small menagerie or zoo of wild animals. When an on-duty guard noticed a bear-like silhouette one night in 1816, he lunged at it with his bayonet. It's possible that the guard thought the bear had escaped from the tower zoo, which was relocated to the London Zoo and Regent's Park during the 1830s. The guard's bayonet pierced right through the bear and straight into the wood of the door. It plunged so deep, two men were required to remove it. The bear was nowhere to be seen, and two days after fainting from shock, the guard passed away. Most likely someone either played a really bad prank on the man or stole the bear and claimed it had never been there to begin with. Otherwise, there is a creepy bear-like ghost lurking around the Tower of London. Number 7. The Phantom Horse of Bryn Wai Maine in the rural town of Bryn Wai, Maine, Wales, near Colwyn Bay, a beautiful white horse is rumored to haunt the back roads. The horse has officially been seen twice. On the first occasion, a man was taking the scenic route to avoid the police stops, when a horse appeared out of nowhere. He thought his car was going to hit the horse, which jumped out at the last second as he approached a dip in the road. According to the driver, who was on his way to work, the horse filled the windscreen and he thought for sure that he was going to hit it. In a last-ditch effort to evade the horse, the driver slammed on his brakes, causing the car to spin around, but the horse disappeared. When the horse was seen for a second time, a couple was driving along the same road and approached the same dip as it appeared. Just like the previous witness, the driver hit the brakes and the horse disappeared. Now, people are very careful with that dip, as it seems like the horse might be out to get them and cause an accident. Number 6. The Merivale Pigs According to one legend, a phantom sow and her piglets have been haunting Mary Pitt Hill in Dartmoor, UK for two centuries. They're starving, searching for food, and most likely to be encountered as one walks the roads at night. Supposedly, the mother and her babies have caught word or scent of a dead horse along the road from Mary Pitt to Cater Gate and have gone looking for this food source. Yum! Legend holds that as the bunch makes their way toward the dead horse, the piglets can be heard squealing, Starving! Starving! Upon finding the carcass, the family realizes it's been scavenged clean of edible body parts by crows. As the hungry crew makes its way back to Mary Pitt, the piglets cry out, Skin and bones! Skin and bones! To which the sow replies, Let him lie! Let him lie! Hopefully it's just the creepy wind making these noises. And now for the demon cat. But first, let us know about other animal ghost stories in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe if you're new here. We'd love to have you! Number 5. The Demon Cat of DC The US Capitol is said to be haunted by a demonic apparition in the form of a black cat. It's one of many ghost stories about Washington, DC, but has captured the public's imagination like no other. In a March 2018 interview with Atlas Obscura, Steve Livingood, chief tour guide of the US Capitol Historical Society, stated, It's probably the most common of all the ghost stories in the Capitol, partly because of the physical evidence. Living Good has become an expert on the tale, which dates back to the 19th century since joining the society in 1973. The first and most common sightings of the cat were by night watchmen during the post-Civil War era. At the time, it wasn't uncommon to see cats lurking since they're great for rodent control. However, the demon cat grew as it approached a guard one night until it was the size of a tiger. It then pounced on the guard, who did his best to protect himself before disappearing into the night. Some versions of the demonic cat tales have linked it to national tragedies and presidential transitions, and the eerie feline is believed to have even scared some people to death. There are some physical markings throughout the Capitol building that people consider to be proof of the demon cat's existence, including a set of paw prints in the rotunda that appeared after a gas explosion in 1898 that required some of the original stone to be replaced with concrete. Of course, not to disappoint anyone, Livingood admitted that any old cat might have walked across the wet concrete. 
Another part of the building features the initials DC in the concrete, which some believe were put there by the demon cat. But before you get too spooked, it is Washington DC, and the initials could stand for District of Columbia. Living Good himself admitted that he has doubts about the demon cat being real, citing a known drinking problem among the guards who claim to have witnessed it. That'll do it. What do you think? Is there a possibility that the demon cat is real? Let me know in the comments. Number 4. The Black Dog of Newgate Prison One guard dog is apparently working some major overtime at the former site of Newgate Prison in London. The scary black dog was first written about in 1596 by an inmate who also discussed a horrific famine that had forced the prisoners to resort to cannibalism. An imprisoned scholar who had been locked up under accusations of witchcraft was overpowered and consumed by stronger inmates. Shortly thereafter, the monstrous black dog began making its appearances. According to legend, it roamed the corridors of the prison, targeting the men who had victimized the scholar one by one. They believed that the dog was the manifestation of the scholar and alleged sorcerer that they had consumed out of desperation. At some point, the scholar's remaining assailants became overwhelmed with fear and escaped from the prison. Rumor has it that the dog eventually caught up with those men as well. It's possible that the tale of the black dog at Newgate Prison was make-believe from the beginning and was intended as a moral lesson to deter inmates who were struggling against the prison's unspeakably oppressive conditions from engaging in aggressive behavior, because the dog would be out to get them. Number 3. The Black Cat of the Hellfire Club Located in the Wicklow Mountains, just outside of Dublin, is a hunting lodge known as the Hellfire Club, which was built atop an ancient burial mound known as Montpellier Hill. The club was founded in 1735 by a man named Richard Parsons and was known for engaging in satanic rituals and for slightly less offensive vices such as drinking and gambling and other things. Common folklore holds that both servants and cats were sacrificed at the lodge. Naturally, the venue piqued the curiosity of outsiders and an individual visiting the area went to investigate one night. The next morning, his host found him dead and assumed that he had been murdered the previous night at the Hellfire Club. The concerned host approached a local priest in an attempt to get to the bottom of the situation. When the priest and the host went to the Hellfire Club for more answers, they encountered a lavish feast. A large black cat with ears shaped like horns wandered the vicinity and eventually occupied a seat intended for the devil himself. When the cat snarled at the priest, he tossed holy water onto it and it tore into pieces. Next, he went outside and found the host lying in the grass with deep scratch marks in his face. To this day, visitors at the site report paranormal sightings of a big black cat and unexplainable forces that tug at their jewelry, sometimes hard enough to rip necklaces off. Number 2. The Ghost Dog of Earth Castle Scotland's Earth Castle is known as one of the world's most haunted hotels. Located in the Falkirk area, it currently operates as both a hotel and spa and also contains a bar and grill. The historically rich castle dates back to the 14th century and was once owned by the family of Robert the Bruce. It's set in a secluded countryside location and seems like an ideal scenic retreat for some much-needed R&R or even a work party or a wedding. What the castle's website might fail to mention to you is that it's also known for its numerous ghosts, including a nanny and two children who burned to death during the 1800s. Guests have reported strange sightings and sounds in their travel reviews, such as footsteps appearing on a disused, dusty staircase and the sounds of children running up and down the hallways. Aerith Castle isn't just a home to human ghosts, however. One of the venue's most famous long-term residents is an ankle-biting dog who isn't necessarily dangerous, but is certainly alarming and a bit annoying. Would you spend a weekend at this remote retreat? Let me know in the comments. Number 1. The Phantom Rabbit of Thetford Warren Lodge Thetford Warren Lodge was built during the 1400s on an ancient landscape in Norfolk, England known as the Brex. It was constructed by nearby monks for the property's warrener, who was in charge of capturing rabbits as food and for their skins. The property also accommodated hunting parties eager to poach rabbits, who arrived equipped with bows, arrows, and sharpened sticks. The building's ground floor was used for drying skins and hanging salted meats, as well as storing traps, nets, and racks. The warrener lived on the second floor, and his job was to burrow holes and provide food for the property's rabbits. One popular legend holds that the site is haunted by a large white rabbit with red eyes and that it's an omen of death. In other words, anyone who sees it meets an untimely end. According to the myth, the phantom rabbit guards the property. 
The area is rife with reported ghost sightings. Numerous paranormal experiences have been reported on the former site of St. Margaret's, a nearby leper hospital that was burned down in 1304 after being raided for gold and silver. Thanks for watching! Have you seen any animal ghosts yourself? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you soon! Bye!